employee tutorial. Most users prefer to immediately change their password. To do this, click on the menu icon in the top right corner of the page. It has three lines, then select settings. You will see the change password option here on this page. Click this button. Then simply enter in your preferred password and click the button titled change password. Next, let's input your availability so that management knows when you are available to be scheduled. Under the same settings page, you can select the tab titled My Availability. Here, you can enter in your availability with three options, not available, partially available, or available all day. Once you have entered in your availability, you will click Submit to send it to the manager for approval. This settings page is also where you can request time off. To do this, click on the button titled Request Time Off and enter in either the day or span of days you are looking to request off. Then submit this for manager review. Now let's head back to the page when we first logged on. This is the My Schedule Overview page. Here, you will see your scheduled shifts for the existing week with the ability to toggle further if you'd like to see future shifts you're scheduled for. You can click on each shift to see the details of the shift. For instance, the location, position, time, others that are working with you, etc. You can also release the shift by clicking on it to reveal the detailed view. Once you release the shift, it will go into the shift exchange for other employees to pick up. From the overview page, you will also be able to see any notifications regarding your schedule, pending requests, messages, announcements, etc. Now let's take a look at the exchange. On the left, you will see updates on your pending requests. This includes shifts you have released and shifts you are picking up. On the right, you will see any shifts that are available for pickup. Only shifts that you are eligible to pick up are displayed. To pick up a shift, simply click on the button titled Pick Up. This will then be sent to management for approval. Once management has approved the shift swap, it will reflect on your overview page. Remember, your pending requests are all shown on the left for you to keep track of your activity. The last feature we want to show you is the messaging page. To access the messaging platform, click on the message icon at the top right of the page next to the menu icon. This is where you can view and send messages to fellow employees and management. To send a message, click on the button titled New Message. Then, select the recipients for your message. Select either a group or an individual. Now, enter your message and send. From the website and the free mobile app, you can check on the status of your schedule and requests. You will also see messages and announcements made by management or employees. Visit the App Store and Google Play Store to download the free mobile app today. And there you have it. You've completed the employee tutorial on myschedule.com.